Hi, my review is on the movie uh, Captain America Civil War uh, starring uh, Chris Evans and Robert Downey Jr. And uh, a little summary of the story. Uh, let's see here. Is the political interference in the Avengers activities causes a rift between former allies Captain America and Iron Man. Now, <clears throat> I thought this movie was all right. Oh, too much popcorn. I thought the movie was okay. I know I'll get a ship storm for a shit storm for maybe some of my criticisms criticisms that I may have for this movie, but I really I was not blown away by it. I think it to me. My opinion of this movie, it was okay. It was all right. It wasn't. I didn't think it was great, but I didn't think it was bad either. Thought it was just okay. Um, the movie just seemed to kind of drag a little bit for me at times. Um, and the story, I was not really uh, blown away by the story. You know, it seemed like Captain America was protecting Bucky a lot and watching over him and all that, protecting him. Um, and it just, I don't know, it, that story seems like to me, if the Avengers had a television show, it'd probably make a good, make uh, for a really good episode, but I mean, it was just not a story that really uh, captured me, um, and, uh, and, and I, and I, but I, uh, I, I think, I think overall, though, there were a lot of good qualities about the film, good special effects, good action scenes, sound, uh, visuals, everything. I mean, you know, a lot of that stuff. But I, I, I don't know. I didn't like the story. I just didn't feel like it was a captivating story for me. And, um, and there were times I thought the movie dragged, but there were exciting moments in the movie. Yes, the airport scene where, the, where all, the event, all the heroes are fighting each other. Uh, that was pretty good stuff, you know. Um, I did like uh, Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Now um, he gets a, and, this, and this is a spoiler review, by the way, so I can get that out of the way. But there's a scene where he's at the you know Spider-Man's at the airport fighting all these other heroes, and um, in, in the scene before that, uh, Tony Stark goes to Peter Parker's home where he's living with his aunt May, and he tries to. Re he goes into uh, Peter's room and has a talk with Peter. Tells him that he wants to recruit him for a, uh, a you know, a, a mission. You know, um, uh, something he wants. You know, he wants to put him on his team to fight the, those other, uh, those other uh, members of the of the uh, uh, the Avengers. And, and 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 I have to really say I like I like the way Tom Holland is going to be Spider Man. I mean. His voice sounds like Tobey Maguire's. His hairstyle as Peter Parker reminds me of, of Tobey Maguire. And his the action scenes with Spider-Man in the movie was fabulous. Can't wait for Spider-Man Homecoming that comes out next year. Now that that was something I liked, you know. Um, but I, but I but you know when I look at this movie, you know I kind of saw some of the same things, or similar things that I saw in Dawn of Justice, and. Um, like for instance, um, for instance, uh, you know, like in Dawn of Justice. Now, you know, now Dawn of Justice gets criticized, but this movie doesn't get criticized for certain things. You know, it's like in Dawn of Justice, you have a scene where a lot of people die out there, die in Africa, and Superman gets blamed for it. In Civil War, you have a you have a situation where. Um, there's a there's a battle going on in Africa and a bunch of, bunch of people, you know, get killed and the and the, uh, you know, and the Avengers are involved in the, in in that fighting. Um, in Dawn of Justice, you have um, the Capitol building that blew up. Well, in Civil War, you have the United Nations building that blows up. Um, also. Uh, Another thing, a thing that I noticed is like in Dawn of Justice, remember Superman was told by that senator, don't get involved in world affairs, you know, we want you to kind of just, 
leave that to us. You, you, you shouldn't be going out getting involved in all these foreign affairs and stuff. Well, there was this uh, one guy, um, you know, played by William, Hart, uh, William Hurt, and he's the Security of State, Theodos Rose, I guess his name was. And he tells the Avengers, um, you know, can't get involved in foreign affairs, you know, we, we want you to, you know, step back and try not to get involved in world issues, leave that to the government officials, and you know. And that's kind of how uh, Dawn, it was in Dawn of Justice. Now, another another example of, of how it's like Dawn of Justice is the movie's too long. It's, it's two and a half hours long. Now, Civil War doesn't get doesn't get criticized for that, you know, but 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 Dawn of Justice gets it, Dawn of Justice gets criticized for that, but Civil War doesn't get criticized for that. It's just kind of ridiculous, and I would say that, and, and I, I would say that the movies are about on the same level. I, and I'm going to buy this all of, you know, Civil War is ten times better than than Dawn of Justice. I like both films, and I and I and you know, if you're going to criticize Dawn of Justice for certain things, well. There are some similarities there in Civil War too. There's the things that I had just pointed out. Um, it's a good movie. Civil War is a good movie. Uh, I'm not saying it's bad. I give it a B minus. Um, but I wasn't blown away by it, and I really wasn't captivated by the story of, of uh, Steve Rogers, Captain America, protecting Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier. I just, you know, that just didn't captivate me. I mean, if if there was going to be a uh, um, a television series of the Avengers. I think that would make for a good episode, but not for a big, you know, for the big screen. Um, uh, but the movie is good. And like I said, it had good qualities about it, good special effects, and and, and so forth. Um, but I but I will say that the movie was just all right. I mean, there were times it dragged. I thought there were times when it was slow, um, and um, but. But overall, I would say that there were some um, definitely some things there that were fun. You know, it was a fun ride at times. But like I said, I'm not. I wasn't. You know, like wow, greatest superhero movie of all time. No, I don't feel like that. But anyways, that's my review. And uh, um, everybody have a uh, good time. And I'll talk to you into the next review. All right, everybody, take care.